Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have FTM Phantom Daily Update. Where are we going? Next price targets. What you should do? Everything will be answered. Before we begin, join the monthly subscription. I have the link in the description down below. Buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto. I have the, also the link in the comment section. You can cancel anytime you like and you will get easy profits. You will prepare yourself for this bullish run with an automated and a manual system with buying and selling opportunities. You will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell your altcoins. But it doesn't stop there. You will also get personal guidance, educational videos to come, expert in the technical analysis, hold your future in your hands, market updates, random giveaways, pine scripts for trading view, and many, many more benefits. Okay, so join in before it is too late. And of course, you can join our Telegram group chat. Hit the like button and subscribe if you like the content. Let's go right now to the FTM. And you can see right here that we hold the 20 day MA. We also hold this very, very much of a support level right here, very significant support level of 2.33. And we have one more in case we drop down from the 20 day MA 2.24. But anyway, do not worry about that. For the time being, let's go to the MACD, okay? And the MACD, you can see that we are having a little bit of a higher low, but right now we are going sideways. We are a little bit indecisive about whether to break above or to break down, okay? We want to see further details right there for FTM. Let's go to the 4-hour frame. You can see that we are riding the 20-day MA and we had a great buying opportunity when we were beyond the 50-day EMX potential moving average. Okay, so right now, what do we have? We have the RSI and the RSI right now is indecisive on whether we can go even higher. If we break the 70, this target right here, then we are going all the way upwards. Okay, if we do not and we form like a head and shoulders pattern, where is the left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder, then we go down and probably maybe to lower support levels. Okay, but for the time being, the good part is that the stochastic RSI is getting into an oversold. Okay, so that is a good part right here for FTM and we are still riding the 20 day EMA. That is pretty, pretty good that we are still riding the 20 day EMA. Okay. So according to the risk metrics, we do not hold any significant uh, overbought situation right here, any significant risk. On the Komoot Channel Index, we are getting a little bit of a lower highs. You can see right here that the cuts are smiling and not. Okay. They are a little bit neutral. Okay. They do not smile. They do not. Uh, they are not sad. They are a little bit neutral right there. Let's go to FTM on the daily frame, okay? And you have the SSL hybrid right here that we had a buying opportunity, not a selling opportunity yet. So we had a buying opportunity back on 17 October. I do not know if you can see this blue, uh, this blue arrow right here. We had a selling on 12 buying opportunity right now, not a selling opportunity yet. On the daily frame, you will notice something that we should be careful. Okay, and that is a bearish RSI divergence. Yes, you should be careful. Each time we are going upwards, we are having a lower RSI. That's why I tell you that if you have any profits, book some of them. Okay, book some of them. So let's go to the commodity channel index. We went above the 100 and we have a little bit of a risk on the stochastic side, though we can grow even more. Okay, this is amazing. We can grow even more with the stochastic side and let's hope that we get another swing high rate here and we stop around there, maybe getting to the next targets, which we will discuss in the price analysis section. And of course, we can go even, even higher from that. Okay, the uh, Fisher transform, though, is in an extreme overbought. Let's go to FTM Bitcoin chart. On the FTM Bitcoin, Bitcoin chart, you can see on the 4-hour frame, we are riding the 5th day of May. Uh, it looks like this was a top right here that we, it will be hard to re-achieve again for the FTM Bitcoin chart on the 4-hour frame. We hope that we can do it, but it is a little bit hard. Uh, the nice scenario right here is that we have the stochastic in an oversold. We found resistance in the 0.618, huge band pressure in the 0.236. You can see the price label as well. And now we are riding the 50 day May, which is good. However, we need to wait a little bit as we might be having a head and shoulders 
pattern right here and we go a little bit further down okay of course though the good part is that we are getting into an oversold while we have this sideways action for ftm so that is pretty pretty good for ftm as well on the daily frame for ftm bitcoin chart we can see that we might be having a bearish side divergence here as well the stochastic rsa is almost in an oversold it was back on 16 october and we hope that on the daily frame we keep continue our way a little bit upwards and we break the previous all-time high okay let's go to the price analysis and on the price analysis the good news is that we hold the 2.32 as i talked about before next target will be around here the 2.55 to 2.56 57 around there and we have one more at the 2.65 and one more at the 2.71 around there okay so you should be focusing on these targets but at the same time what you should be doing right now is to observe whether we are going even even higher we have many chances to go higher but at the same time we have a little bit of a high risk on the daily frame especially on the midterm so what i suggest you to do uh if you have any profits just book them because on the midterm we are getting a little bit of a bearish rsi divergence and we cannot go all the way higher and higher okay we need to correct a little bit we will need actually to correct a little bit but for the time being it looks good if you have bought around here then hold your coin sell some around 40 percent not a financial advice but hold okay if you've bought down from this area down from the 2.32 on the short term though it looks good ftm still looks very very healthy even if we drop down a little bit right here do not worry about that okay so it looks very very healthy to achieve the next price targets and especially the first one and of course maybe maybe the second one we will see about that though ftm is strong with a strong bitcoin it will be stronger as well okay so we expect bitcoin to grow up even more and of course ftm against bitcoin chart to start a little bit of going upwards it is very hard as i talked about before to reapproach for FTM against Bitcoin chart, this price right here we had. Okay, it is very hard for now. We just need a small swing high. We get a small swing high around there, then FTM will explode to the next targets. Okay, we just need a very, very least uh, significant, very small actually swing high because Bitcoin has overgone into the 66,000, 67,000 tether USD area right here for Bitcoin. You can see that. And now it looks like we want to go even even higher to the next price target we have at the 73,000 tether usd okay so ftm will be going to the next targets in case bitcoin does that and of course we have a strong strong support level in which we found right here it was good that we found this support level but we had also huge sell pressure right there on 20 october okay so we are going to see where actually are we going and of course can we achieve these price targets i think we have many chances to do that even if we retrace a little bit okay so thank you for watching do not forget to join the monthly subscription link in the description and in the comment section buy me a coffee slash mind your crypto thank you for watching have a fantastic day wherever you are see you soon with many many more videos bye